Hello everyone, it's GigaBeef here and today we're looking at Tarkov Shooter Part 3 as I have an updated strategy that hopefully will let you get this done even faster than in previous patches. In this task for Jaeger, you have to kill three PMCs with a bolt action rifle at less than 25 meters, which at first sounds pretty daunting. The map strategy is straightforward, as you could go elsewhere, but on factory you can guarantee spawning close to other PMCs, as well as maximizing the chances of getting kills under the distance requirement. Historically, players used to use the Mosin as 7.62x54 rounds are cheap and decent, but ever since the Thorax HP got updated to 85, it's unlikely to one-shot any PMCs as none of the rounds do enough damage. This does make it tough as you need to land two solid chest shots, or a headshot of course, against players using SMGs, shotguns, pistols and other weapons better suited to factory than your bolt action. Now that we can use any bolty, my strategy uses the VPO215 instead, but the rounds for this gun are nowhere near as powerful penetration wise, except for the APM ammo. 366 APM is some of my favourite ammunition in the game, a large part because it pairs so well with the VPO and packs an extraordinary punch. Compared to another round that is considered very good, the 7.62 NATO M80 round, which has 80 damage and 41 penetration, the 3.66 APM round has 90 damage and 42 pen, which really is amazing. If it wasn't limited just to the 209 and the 215, it would be much more widely used, but the important part here is that with 90 damage, we're well over the 85 Thorax HP threshold. This is useful because lots of players on Factory are completing stir-up and other quests early on, and you'll see a ton of players with either no armour at all or with low gear kits like the Packer. With APM you will one-shot these players, although do note that it's unlikely to one-tap class 4 because there is damage mitigation even if you penetrate, but I'm actually not 100% certain exactly how much, that's a test for another video. This is all well and good, but where can we get the APM round so early in the wipe? With no one selling it on the flea and not getting unlocked until Mechanic 3, it might appear that we're kind of stuck. However, luckily for us, there is a way to get a limited amount. By completing Gunsmith Part 1 from Mechanic, you get a VPO215 and 20 rounds of APM. That's pretty thin, but it is possible to make it work. With the low fire rate of the VPO, you won't be using them up very quickly. I organised my loadout with one APM loaded into the rifle and a first mag of four APM bullets. Then I had two spare mags with three EKO rounds at the bottom and a single round of APM on top. This was to make sure that when I load a new mag I end up with APM in the chamber, but I didn't want to take all my APM on my PMC in magazines because losing 13 rounds across the three mags and the one in the gun is 65% of our stock. Also, EKO rounds are actually okay. You could swap this out for FMJ if you prefer, but the issue is that what you gain in one-shotting naked PMCs, you lose in making life very hard for yourself against class 3 and class 4 armour, so the choice is yours. Reorder the mags however you like, but fundamentally APM makes this quest so much easier, and completing it early means you will be one-shotting people in the chest all over the place, which is a ton of fun. As for the weapon itself, all you have to do is buy a VPO. I use it with the inbuilt iron sights because I actually really like the clear picture that you get with them. It doesn't really make much difference, but you can take the rail off too, which slightly improves your vision around the front ring. Gear wise, I tend to use a cheapo class 4 and a Ratnik helmet just to try to give myself a little bit more survivability if I miss a shot or two, which was worth it for me, but it depends on what you have available at the time. Once in the map, you do have to be a bit careful because 25 meters is really not that far. There are a whole bunch of places on Factory where if you end up in the wrong engagement you can get a kill and then it not count, which is extremely frustrating. The far ends of the office corridor, glass tunnel from forklifts and various parts of the outside and the tunnel system can be just over, so try to engage at a range that's comfortably inside the 25 meter limit. If you haven't got to this quest yet, there have been some important changes to the ordering of the Tarkov Shooter questline, as you used to have to complete Gunsmith 5 to get access to it. In patch 12 12 30, this has been moved after the survivalist path dangerous yet unprotected. This is Jaeger's second quest, meaning that once you get through the food quest, you can get to Tarkov Shooter really quickly, which is great because most other players are completing quest 2 and are rarely kitted in anything good. Next up, I'm going to show you how it went for me this wipe. Ever since changing to the APM strategy, it has gone from one of my most feared quests to one of my favourite. This wipe, it was truly special and some of the most fun Tarkov I've had in a long time. Is that another player? Oh no, that's a scav. Did this scav just kill this guy? 
I think he must have. What am I using? I'm using AP. Yes, exactly. Let me reload. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know how I didn't die there. Such an okay SKS. Probably rather use that. Holy hell. Oh. Well, we have to go to gate 3, don't we? I keep forgetting that I don't have any of the gate keys. They wanted to leave. Yes! Right. <laughs> Holy hell. Look at this. Oh my god. That was insane. Oh my god, the adrenaline is absolutely ridiculous. That was actually insane. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. We did complete it, okay. It was just in the heat of battle. Dudes, that went so well! Oh, I, lo I love Tarkov Shooter Part 3. Lots of people really hate this quest. I really, really like Tarkov Shooter Part 3. If you found this one useful, please do check out my other video on the 215 for the cheapest suppressed sniper loadout from Last Wipe Next as it's still very relevant and one of my favourite questing kits. So as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.